little session is part of our top 10 reno tips for DIYers and beginners. And I've actually got a couple of slides that I'll share my screen with while you all come on. I'm just going to put out a shout out. You can actually ask questions, send me a private message with anything that you'd like me to cover on a live, Mums and Dads Live, or to present you in video form if you like my ideas or design ideas or colour cons consultancy ideas or anything like that in relation to your own renovation or just something that you'd like answered, a question that you'd like answered, you're so welcome to do that. Hit me up by private message. But today we're going to go through the first five, my fab five of the top 10 reno tips. So there's part one today and a part two next week. And I've chosen these for a reason. These are specifically targeted to DIYers and beginners. The dreaded flat pack. Okay, so flat packs are an amazing way to save money. So if you're a DIY beginner, don't start with a whole kitchen. Don't This kitchen is um, quite gorgeous. It's pretty simple, really, when you look at the components of it, the flat pack components of this kitchen. But uh, don't start there, guys. Start with something like a best to cupboard from Ikea or a smaller kitchen space. Caboodle are amazing and their assistance is great. There are also flat packs through Kinsman, which is Freedom and also the good guys. So there's a flat pack range everywhere now just about some of the larger manufacturers are creating a flat pack range in kitchens but don't start there guys start with something simple it's really important <laughs> that you don't get divorced over your first flat pack so that's my top tip you can create a great look you can spend some time doing it and you can um, get what you want in the end by doing it yourself the second one is wainscoting wainscoting or wainscoting if you want to pronounce it that way Love it. Love taking a plain, boring wall and creating something amazing. I mean, look at this from Accent Art Creators, this amazing wall here. That's just a plain wall. That's just slabs of, I was going to say slabs of timber, but you know what I mean, bits of skirting board, essentially, is what that is. Look at the trim here, bead or trim, um, and a nice little dado rail. Like, really, you can do anything you like, and you can create a look that you want on very little money and you can sit there and design it yourself you can pencil it onto the wall you can have a great big look at what it's going to be like before you start cutting out your little bits and pieces but that is something that my husband could do in about half an hour he'd do the cutting I do the design he does the cutting he um, nails it in there glues and screws whatever he wants to do to stick it on the wall and I finish it off so it looks pretty amazing that's not my work by the way that's from them cyclist abode um, but, you know, wainscoting has been around for a little while. It's used so much in the US. It creates warmth and heart in a home. And you know that warmth and a heart in a home helps itself for more. Where I think most of us start is revamping furniture. There is or it is quite possible to make an income out of grabbing old furniture from Facebook freebies or off the side of the road at council cleanups, painting up that furniture and popping it on another free spot to sell Gumtree or Facebook Marketplace. A lot of people actually do this for a living. Um, Fiona at Lily, Lilyfield Life runs an amazing business where it actually teaches you how to paint and, up, and update furniture. There's a bit of this going around in Oz. It's just great. I mean, it's just nothing nicer than having a bespoke piece in your own home, any color that you like, and you can do that yourself. I think this is a really good place to start, just honing your skills, your craft, but it, just enjoying the colors and the creativity that you can do from getting a piece of furniture like that and revamping it. Paint. I mean, obviously for the word paint, I could have had <laughs> 10 hours of footage here. I've just popped this up. This is from Fiona. Um, inside our renovation mastery group this is a budget a super budget laundry revamp but you can see the difference there that a clever shelf has made um, some you know some flat pack cupboards popped in there and uh, just even painting the floor tiles not ideal not perfect but 
amazing for a budget renovation to get this property sold, sold fast and sold for more money. A really nice way of doing things. Wall tiles, painted wall tiles will last a lot longer naturally than painted floor tiles, the wear and tear. But to revamp this look to create a really nice clean space for the new person to move in and picture this as their little laundry space rather than looking like it's a little corner section of a garage is a really clever idea. But paint, yeah, amazing. Makes things smell good, feel good, look like brand new, can be any colour you like. You can create a mood, love paint. Shelving, so underrated, so easy to get free hanging shelves from um, Bunnings, from Ikea, from lots of places or make your own. Um, these are from Black Birch Homes. They're a, a company in the States and you can find them on Instagram. There's many, many pictures, but, you know, shelving is just so much cheaper than actually doing fixed cupboards. So there's a, a cheat for your kitchens. Shelving like this is a lot cheaper than filling up that top section with um, built-in cupboards. Also really practical, great places to style when you're selling and great places for tenants and, and the home occupiers to use to really easily pop their stuff up there. So shelving, great place to start DIY. That's my top five. It's not really my top five. It's part one. They're five. Next week, I'll, I'll um, show you my next favorite five. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget that I'm always open for an appointment if you wish to speak to me about taking your renovation life to the next level, whether that means just doing your own first project, whether it means doing a renovation on the side while you're living in your own house, maybe a first investment property, and, uh, and you want to get serious about running the numbers, you don't want to overcapitalize, and you want to learn all the tips and tricks about renovating on a budget. There is so much shared inside my membership. I have over 600 very, very successful renovators in that group. So it's a community to be in. Australia's number one community, I'm calling it. Cheers, guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Bye.